welcome back. For those of you who are new to the channel, we are Mark, Lisa and Chico the Chihuahua. We decided to leave our everyday life by selling our home and live full time in our motor home to travel the world and make new adventures. So after travelling through the beautiful coastline of northern Spain, crossing over into Portugal and then arriving back in South Spain, we decided to cross a new border, one that provided some of our UK favourites. Welcome back to the channel guys. This time you find us in Gibraltar. Gibraltar on sea. And we've got our passports. We're literally five minutes away from passport control. We're going to leave Van in another country, aren't we? Marshall? Yeah, let's go. So all three of us are going to be going to Gibraltar today. So we've got Chico's passport as well. He's all comfortable in his bag down there, as you can see him. It's a hot one, isn't it, Mark? So the way we pitched up last night, we got here about half past, oh, we were actually about half past 10, quite late. We weren't going to come to Gibraltar, but we've had to come past Gibraltar to go to, to, go to our next destination. So we've ended up stopping here now. We found this park up on search for sites and camper contact. It's right on the marina and it's £15 an hour and it's very secure. They say this place is for about 100. There's so many on the front and then there's a big car park where we're parked as well. And as you can see, <laughs> it's ideal for Gibraltar because it's only there so that was easy peasy straight through there's a massive queue of traffic if you come on a bike or scooter please don't queue in it go straight to the passport control would have been burnt to a crisp if we'd waited in that traffic but this is a first I'm walking across a runway this is what divides Gibraltar from Spain and we have heard a few uh, planes setting off this morning from where we're actually pitched up Mark's already set off. Can't wait to get over there. What a view that is. It's massive. So last time I had my picture with this guy who stood next to me we was in Scotland, weren't we? Freezing cold, snowing, raining, freezing cold and I had some battered Mars bars from a chip shop. So here he is. Can you remember him? The link to that video is up there somewhere. And now you found him in Gibraltar. So Mark's still looking for Crocs, even in Gibraltar. It's driving me nuts. Mm. So just to look at this street here, for example, this is called Main Street. And I think it just looks like something back home, doesn't it? It's just, yeah. It's Super real. dry. Holland and Barrett. Holland and Barrett, yeah. Chico's having an absolute ball. <laughs> what are you doing? Definitely, it's not. Get off. Right, so the very first cruise that we went on was called Ocean Village. So we've headed here because this place is called Ocean Village. It's yeah. called like the area's Ocean Village, isn't it's all it? All these apartments and hotels and things. Now, if you can see just behind us there, there is a hotel that looks like a ship, and I think it probably was once. Maybe it was, yeah. A ship. This is just down by the marina, isn't it? And look at that with Gibraltar Rocket in background. Nice, we haven't even there? attempted to get up there today, have we? It's bigger than you think. I tell you, you definitely need like the for us the e-scooters are perfect here, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely perfect. Scooter lanes are brilliant. I um, mean, you couldn't walk it, could you? I mean, it's a bit of a walk from where you come in over the runway, isn't it? So now for a bit of information for you, if you ever want to come to Gibraltar and see the tourist bits, the apes and um, apes. Well, the monkeys and all the other bits that's upon the Gibraltar Rock. We were talking to a company that they do taxi rides. So there's eight of you going a taxi. Like a minibus, isn't it? A minibus. And it's £40 each and it's an hour and a half. And they take you to all the fascinating places. You can get out of the taxi, have a look round. Mm -hmm. So that's just in case you ever wondered how you'd have, actually get up there. There is a glass bottom cliff. So you can walk on it and it just it's a sheer drop. There is a, not a cliff lift, what they're called? Cable, cable car, car. Yeah, cable car. Uh, cable car. Uh, and we know people have been up there on the backs. <laughs> not, for, not in this weather, not for me. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful around here. Very expensive. How much properties, Mark? What's well, the cheapest I saw? A million pound for an apartment. So, but yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? It's, Can you imagine these on here? Yeah. Overlooking this. Get your money out your bank if you want to uh, come and live here. So we've come all the way to Gibraltar. And we're in Morrison's. And you want some cordial, don't you? Yeah, you can't find cordial anywhere. We're going to see if we can get some English stuff and sneak back over the border on the Chico, so I don't know if we're going to have that. Counterfeit. 
What, you after some wool sausages? I want some sausages. And you want some bacon? Yeah. Cordial? Yeah. And that'll probably do. Yeah, fuss coming in, will it? So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see what happens. La Linea de la Concepcion. On sea. This is the town you come to before crossing over into Gibraltar. And we've just walked into this, oh, what can you say? I call it a marketplace. It's like a, room. Like, it's a, like a square, isn't it? A square, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's lit nice, up like it? Christmas. Can you see the lights above us? It's all of it. It's really nice. It's like, it's, you feel like you're in a building where it's warm know. and it's like because it is warm anyway and it feels like a roof over your head and there's a beautiful church just in front of us that's got loads of history yeah and everyone's here again everyone's coming out congregating eating and drinking just chilling and it's gone dark for definite we come, came out of Morrison's early and it was a bit I got my cordial you yeah. didn't get your sausage did you we forgot we forgot but we are staying another night obviously now um we, we weren't kept, going to. We kept went through passport control, didn't we? Straightforward. If you come in to Gibraltar and you're tempted to go in in your motor home, our advice during these busy times is not Don't. to bother. <laughs> because the queue, it must have took some people over an hour to get out. We were queuing that might mad getting in at, uh, at lunchtime when we yeah, went Yeah, so you're going to lose an hour getting in. You're going to lose an hour trying to get back out. And, all, and, and when you're on your scooters or your bikes or whatever, you just push in and we let you in, don't they? Traffic people, yeah. you know, in cars well, and stuff. The good thing for us is when you're on a scooter, they say just go through. Right. So you literally have to push, you have Short to be really rude and just jump in front of a car. Yeah, well, you have to. You can't expect to be queuing up, can no, you? No, so. we'd have burnt to death, wouldn't we? We'd have been yeah. there for two hours waiting. So anyway, yeah, we've come out to have a look what this little town's got to offer. We're going to go back into Gibraltar in the morning. Early, aren't we? Early, while it's yeah. cool because it was roasting today. Um, and we just run out of time. There was too much to look at. Mm. So, yeah, we'll show you around. It is a town in itself here, isn't it? You think you go to Gibraltar, but it, this is Spain again now, and we're back to Spanish way, aren't we? We're quite shocked today at how Spanish Gibraltar is. Yeah, Not was expecting it to all to be proper English. We know about contentions with Spain wanting it back, I think, and stuff. We're not going to get into a debate about it, but end of the day, it would take a couple of weeks for them to turn it into Spain, wouldn't it? it yeah. There's not a lot of English here. The money's English and stuff, it's funny, isn't it? Price the good. So it's not like they get a lot of rain here, but for some reason they've put brollies up everywhere. Look at that. How effective is that? What's the ratio of not getting wet? I think that's really pretty. What a good idea. We don't get any, uh, we don't get much wind either because it'll blow inside out. <laughs> Guess what the street's called? Mary Poppins. Oh, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> so we released a vlog the other day about the South West Shore and we asked you where do you think we are at that time when we put the vlog out? Yeah, so everyone who guessed it was in Gibraltar, not quite. Mm. No, because we're still in Spain, our motorhome is parked in Spain, but we did go to Gibraltar for the day. <laughs> So you were partially right. Yeah. We're just going through a few of the comments now. And so well done if you guessed it. I think it was the plane that gives away. And you and mentioned fish, fish and chips. Fish and chips, yeah, yeah. Half past 11 at night, sat in a square in Spain, <laughs> doing what the locals do, eating ice cream. I'm spilling it all down, mate. Yeah, for God's sake, Mark, look. Uh, I've gone for watermelon and chocolate. What did you go for? Oh, Mark. Smurf and... Trolls. Troll flavour. What does a troll taste like? Mm -hmm. Well, this tastes like coffee and, like, kid sweets. Yeah, at past 11, the ice cream shops around here are absolutely queuing out the door. Mm -hmm. It's weird, but... It's nice because it's really warm, it's really refreshing. Sat in front of a gorgeous church mm. on a Thursday night, not knowing what day it is and who cares as well. 
it's just so chilled, it's lovely. So we're gonna get these finished off, get back to the van, give Chico a big cuddle and get up really early in the morning like we've said before and we'll take you back into Gibraltar before that blazing sun hits the sky. Uh, we're gonna have a look round and see if we can get an English breakfast. Mm -hmm. Like you do. Another sunny day, we're still over in near Gibraltar. Um, looking at my solar panels, making sure they're nice and clean. Now, we've got solar panel on the roof already. Some of you guys who have watched it from the start will have been uh, looking at uh, me install the solar panels on the roof. But then we've got this extra panel here which is con connected to a separate charge controller. As you can see, the wire goes through into the door. But essentially what it means is we can go into Gibraltar on the scooters like we did yesterday drive right more or less all around the place on Gibraltar flatten the batteries go out again last night flatten the batteries put my charge overnight I've just taken them off charge now and it's free electric and we've charged them up using our inverter our Roma 320 amp hour battery and the sun so we've got free transport for all day just down from where we're parked in the marina car park we wanted to show you something we found these yesterday and i really really like these what a fantastic idea it's called boat house and they're all individual like floating houses basically they're a bit like uh, beach huts aren't they back on but a bit bigger and they look like apartments aren't they they're like floating. an individual apartment with a rooftop terrace so you don't need a garden but the hireable you actually book get them on booking.com booking .com. Yeah. And look at these. So you have some multicolored ones down here. They all come with a back, they all come with hook up. And then further along they have some more modern ones as well. I'm in love. I absolutely love these. I would have one of these tomorrow. The only thing is I don't know how much they rock around. Yeah, they rock around a bit, especially when you're upstairs. Yeah. It? But what a fantastic idea and what a fantastic setting. So we've made it back through passport control. And look at this, you cannot get any closer <laughs> to Gibraltar Rock than that, can you? It goes up and up and up, doesn't it? That's the ice bit, isn't it? I'm climbing up there later on, aren't I? Naked. We're so close to the rock, that's huge. Mm -hmm. What if anything falls off that though? It's right on the roadside, isn't it? It must be safe and secure, that's all I'm thinking. So we're going to keep heading up here because apparently this is South Bay Beach. We're going to go and have a look at that. pull over here this is called Catalan Bay it's one of the beaches on Gibraltar but look at those houses it looks like some out of Balamori doesn't it in Scotland beautiful and right up on the top there I know some else I've seen like an egg and there's like a platform can you see the platform mark sticking yeah, out yeah they're like them things that blubber houses aren't they near Skipton yeah <laughs> they obviously had something to do with uh, Air Force or something so but that is absolutely beautiful. So we've come round the other side of the rock now and as you can see, that's the tallest point over there. And everywhere you look, there's like different bits of it. Like there's a bit of a wall there. There's some kind of church just around the corner we'll go and have a look at. So we just stopped here, pulled in and there's a, a sign here saying that someone of 17 year old in 1903 fell to the death in the sea just at this spot. And that looks like some kind of old lookout from the war. Mark, no. Where are you going? I Well, I'd rather you didn't. No. Nice. Come on, back up. There's loads of rubbish down there. A lot of rubbish. We've just passed a place there and it's a landfill, which is a real shame on Gibraltar. They're actually excavating the rock to put landfill in there. I, I was very surprised to see that. Gibraltar Crematorium, mm. just there. 
It's a strange place, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a takeaway, isn't it? So we've just made it to Europa Point, which is just around the other side of the rock. And as you can see in the distance, that's Africa. It definitely is, isn't it? A place called yep. Um Because we've just been listening to one of the tour guards, um, who's just fetched some people up here, and the Gibraltar rock behind us, there is a, a wall and you can see holes in it. Well, and these shoot yeah, bullets, don't they? Not bullets. <laughs> bullets won't reach Morocco he's, from he's here. They used to shoot guns. There was they? big guns and they used to shoot at Morocco from here when there was some kind of war going on. But yeah, it's absolutely stunning. The the view view from here as mm. well with the rock, you can't see it. You, you couldn't get a better view, could you? No, and all these cargo ships transporting, this is uh, this is like the narrow eight mile strip of water between. What do you call it? Uh, it's like a, sh a shipping lane. I can't think. It's straight of Gibraltar anyway. That's it. Down here. So, and and these are all sneaking through between Spain, Africa, through past Gibraltar here, and down and beyond down there. And that's is it something like sixty percent or something like that of the world's stuff comes through here, shipped through here. Yeah. So that's Africa. If ever you want to go, it's not far to swim, is it? I bet you wish it were China, don't you? Yeah, it's a bit far to ring for a takeaway, though, isn't it? <laughs> Chico, what I need you to do is see if you can see Africa. Will you do that for me? <laughs> can you see Africa from here then or what? Okay, thank you. So as well as a rock here, is there anything else that you can see? <laughs> Don't forget to come and have a look at this, this artefact here when uh, you come here. That'll be here for years to come. Europa Point here in Gibraltar. Unfortunately, you still get idiot drivers in Gibraltar as well. Did you see that nutter then? He was bringing me Chinese, but I didn't order. Well, if he was done, he's took it back away with him. Crazy, isn't it? Look at this, we're just walking around now. Look at these houses here, it's like we're just nipped back home, isn't it? It looks weird, doesn't it? Yeah. Being on Gibraltar, that, it's a proper like English little street. So after climbing and climbing on the scooters, we've had to walk a bit because it's killing our batteries. Here you can see, this is the road that you go up to see the apes and everything else, but it is so steep. We do recommend you get one of the taxis from the town uh, and come up here, because it'd be a better idea than what we're trying to do and go up on scooter because uh, it's just going up and up and up so we'll have to make that on another trip because like I said we are leaving today and plus we have Chico with us in a bag the apes open bags steal bags and take sunglasses uh, apparently an ape got into someone's handbag the other day and took the key car keys out of the handbag pressed the button in the car if it had not been in a good position could have rolled and caused some serious damage the very cheeky monkeys apparently <laughs> right we had the brilliant idea of going up in the cable car to see the monkeys have a fiddle with them. yeah seeing as we can't get up there because of the e-scooters dogs aren't allowed up there so it can't go in the cable car it's 19 pound an adult uh, just for the cable car it's 37 if you want to go to the nature reserve but We've just been told that the monkeys are up there anyway. You don't need to go to the nature reserve. So yeah, that's just uh, some information for you. Unfortunately, we can't go up in that either. We're probably all feel fairly wrong when we're coming along that top. Yeah. Though, aren't we? But... So in Gibraltar, not only do they have British post boxes and telephone boxes, they have British police force as well and British police cars. Yeah. They have buses just like we do back at home. Everything's left hand drive or you do drive on the opposite side to yeah, back. Yeah, they've not put back they've not put it back to the right hand side because there's a lot of Spanish live here still, isn't there? So you know when you go to a telephone box and you see one like this in the UK, you open it's either vandalised or a defib defibrillator. There's not many left, is it? No, but look at this. <laughs> it's actually a telephone for once. It's not British telecom though, is it? No, and it doesn't smell of wee. 
Wow, so I'm just having a look around the shops while Mark has a sit down and I was just a bit worried then because I thought that was smoke up there, some kind of forest fire, but I've just been reassured that that is definitely cloud coming over the rock. That looks stunning. Don't tell Mark, but this is what you were looking for yesterday and we couldn't find it. I found it, but I'm not going to tell him. Let's see if Chico wants a drink. Yeah. Look at the size of this door. Are you eyeing up this padlock? I'm not looking for scooters. God, that's it's massive, like isn't it? Look how worn it is on there. Yeah. yeah, these are some of the main doors as you walk through to the market area. And there we have police station. Central police there. Central police station with a proper police sign up there as well. It's just bizarre because you forget that you're abroad, don't you, sometimes? A little bit, you can do, yeah. yeah. Especially when you see that cloud up there, it's like being back on. Isn't yeah, it? it is. So we're going to head back to the van now. It's half past 12, the heat's starting to rise again. Oh, well, it's getting quite breezy today. It yeah. Might be blowing up a storm, who knows? We're going to drop Chico off, let him have a rest. Then we've got to go to a Chinese shop. Not for food. In, in, back in the Spanish side, aren't we? Yeah, because last night Mark decided to. I think what you've done is you overfilled our trans cool machine. Well, I put ice in it as well, didn't I? And it's melted and it's overfilled. And it made some funny noises and now it's in bits. We're going to go to the Chinese shop and see if we can find another fan or something. Yeah, another fan. Absolutely gutted. I've had that trans cool for what, two, two years? Near enough, yeah. Thanks to Susie at Trans Cool. And that's what he's done, Susie. Gone and broken it. Put too much ice in it and then it's melted and I think it's got into it. Into the fan, hasn't it? Useless. 